Good morning, hot dogs. I hope you didn't get soaked coming into school today. Today we'll be talking about Picture Day, lunch, the first annual Community Glider Championship, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The essay contest is due today at 5 p.m. Make sure you turn in the, those essays for a chance to win a cash prize. For first place is $200, for second is $100, and third is $50. And don't forget to dress up in snazzy jassy for tomorrow's picture day. Now to sports and weather with A.V., Eli, and Pedro. Thank you, Alan. And now for today's weather. Coming in, it was a pouring down rain. When we came in today, it was a cooling 70 degrees. The Weather for National Service has a heat advisors for Clinton County for the 98% humidity. The high today is 88, which will be around 3 p.m. But from 9 to 3, it is supposed to be a cloudy day. From 3 to 6, there is a 30 to 40% chance it will be raining. And the low for today will be 70%. Let's go, I'm back. The Lady Hot Dogs golf team took on Harrison and West Lafayette on Tuesday. Emily Shipley played very well and shot 42. In cross country action, the boys team placed fourth in the Harrison Nine Way Invitational, becoming 2 0 in the Sagamore Conference in the process by, de by defeating Western Boone and Southmont. Top finishers include Josue Bautista in fourth place, Angel Perez in tenth. The girls team placed sixth, becoming 1 1 on the season against Sagamore Conference opponents by defaulting to Western Boone, but defeating the Mounties. The top individual was Corrine Alanis in 6th place. Now on to fall workouts for boys basketball. They begin next Tuesday from 3 to 5 in the Ox Gym. Any boy that attends on playing this year not participating in a fall sport should be in attendance. Workouts will run every Tuesday, Thursday through the fall will begin promptly at around 3. The wrestling call meeting will be tomorrow after school in the wrestling room. Now, boys and girls interested in bowling, there will be a call-up meeting tomorrow at 645 at a big shelter house at TPA Park. And shout out to my guy, Alan, behind me on Panda, and my cameraman, Trill. Tuesday night, the Frankfurt boys soccer team hosted McCutcheon. Frankfurt played their best soccer of the year so far against a talented McCutcheon team and went to halftime tied 0-0. In the second half, Frankfurt had their best scoring opportunity of the night on a counter-strike up the left side of the field that ended up with Junior. Brian Sarabia beating two McCutcheon defenders in the keep only to have his shot bounce off the far post. Later in the half, McCutcheon would capitalize on their own run that ended up with the goal from the left side of the field to take the lead 1-0. Despite other scoring chances for the Hot Dogs in the second half, McCutcheon managed to keep the Hot Dogs shot out with the final score of 0-1. Frankfurt falls to 2-3 on the season and will host North Montgomery at 5.30 on Thursday. Tuesday night, the Frankfurt boys soccer JV team faced against, faced against McCutcheon. Solid play from sophomore Marcelino Cervantes and freshman keeper Jose Roman Campos. Kept the Hawk Dogs competitive throughout the match. McCutcheon scored a goal early in the match and laid to make the final score 0-2. The JV team now is 0-1-1 on the season. Today's lunch lines 1-2, and two, Rotini, lines 3-4. and four. 4x6 pizza. Tomorrow's lines 1 and 2 will be bread and chicken sandwich. And lines 3 and 4 will be breakfast pizza. Neon night is Friday, so make sure to get your neon gear and a P-roll in the comments to hop on and support our hot dogs playing this Friday. Have a good day, hot dogs, and make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're feeling generous, ring that bell to see when you our videos come up next. See you, hot dogs.